for this drawing, they're asking us to go and complete the given front view, which we now have, and then a sectional top view, sectional left view, and the true shape of the cut surfaces. And then, of course, note here that they say show all hidden detail and all construction. So even in your sectional views, we're going to show all of the hidden detail as per the instruction. We're going to start part one of this video in going and completing the sectional top view. And to do that, we need to start, as per usual, with our numbering. Numbering starts in our view where we can see the true shape of what we're numbering, which of course will be in our top view here. And I'm going to number clockwise using numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to use a B for the apex of the hole that's on the inside of this hexagon. So we've been given a hexagonal prism, which has got a hexagonal pyramid hole in the bottom of this shape. Okay, so in the given question, they've drawn in hidden detail lines for the hole. I've drawn it in construction lines because I know that I'm going to be cutting through those lines. So I'm not going to draw them as hidden detail lines. Not yet. Okay, to start off our drawing, okay, well, we've done the numbering in the top view. Now we need to go and take that numbering through to our front view. So here, if we're looking from our front view in this direction, that'll be 4, then 3. So this will be 4, 3, and 4, 3. And this will be 5 seen first, and then 2. So there we'll have 5, 2, and 5, 2. And then this will be 6, and then 1. So we'll have 6, 1, and 6, 1. And then, of course, the apex of the hole, which I've labeled as B, which will be B over there. Okay, now that we've completed our numbering, we're going to go and follow each of our cutting lines, or cutting points, off of our cutting line, which is marked as AA. We're going to project each of those down. The first one cuts right there on line 6 and 1. Okay, so we're going to have... I cut that entire line there, 6, 1, as being a cutting line. And then it goes and cuts over there, which is, of course, on a vertical line, which means we're going to have to go and push that into our left view, okay, to draw, draw part of the left view here to be able to get that through and across into our top view. But we have got another cutting point that we can push down. So, f first of all, that is that cutting point there. And that clearly cuts on line B4 and B3, which is part of the hole. So we're going to go here. B3 is there. So we're going to mark that as a cutting point. And then B4, we're going to mark that as another one. And then if we go across, we've got one more at the top over there, which I'm going to project down. And that cuts line 2, 3, and line 5, 4. Okay, it cuts line 2, 3, so we follow that down to 2, 3, and it cuts line 5, 4. We mark those two. Okay, so we, of course, missing this point over here, okay, which we're going to have to get by going and drawing part of our left view. So to do that, we're just going to project this across, and then, of course, uh, hexagon as well from the top view. Project all of that onto our 45 degree line and then straight up, which th this of course is going to get our front view without it being cut. Okay. It's quite a wide front view, but that is correct. You can go and check it. We've got a length there of about 85 millimeters for the front view. That is 85 millimeters. Okay, so we've completed. So for not for the front view, for your for your left view. And then once we've gone and completed that in construction, let me just draw it in for you a little bit darker so that you can see that view. Okay, remember that this is your left view without it being cut.
Okay, that's the left view of the prism. The one part that of course we're missing is the hole. So we're going to project our apex of the hole B across and then we're going to project it up and then bring that apex across from our front view which gives us point B there which we can go and mark off and then of course it's a hexagonal pyramid so it's going to go from each of the base points that we have here to point B and I'm going to draw those in in construction as well so that you can see them so the hole would look something like that in this left view okay and now we're going to go and take that cutting point and we're going to project it across so we can see where it cuts okay and then of course one thing that we're missing our labeling so let's just project that across that's two over there that's we'll see if you're looking from the left you're going to see line corner one and then corner three so that will be one comma three one comma three and then six comma four six comma four six comma four and then of course that will be point five so that's five there and five there okay now this clearly cuts on line five and line two so as we project that across we know that it's going to cut over there on line two okay directly on two and directly on five so because we can take that down we know then that there's going to be a cutting point right there on two and right there on five okay and then if you follow that across it also cuts line b5 and b2 so b2 is going to be there that's b2 and there's b5 it does not cut into b13 and b64 those lines over here okay does not cut into those the only two points we're looking for are the ones on b2 and the one on b5 so we're going to take those two points and we're going to project them down onto our 45 degree line and then project them across this one's coming off of line b2 so i'm going to project it across onto line b2 so my cutting point will be there and then the next one's coming off line b5 so i'm going to take that across onto b5 and i'm going to mark it there okay and then the other two places where of course it cut the hole was right over here on six and one so we can go and draw in the cutting plane now for the hole which is going to start at one go to where it hit two then go to the cutting point on three then from three to four just following our numbers from four to five and then from five to six and then of course it will go back to one again so that's that's the cutting of the hole okay and we're not going to section any of that because of course it's a hole it's seeing all the way through there so we can we can just leave that as is just like that and then of course the cutting of the top of this of this prism was from one to two to where it cuts on line two three there across to where it cuts on line four five so i'm going to draw that in dark and then it would have gone from there straight through to five again we can clearly see that it cuts there on line five and on line two okay those two corners and then back down to six again now what are we going to have to hatch here okay well we're going to have to hatch all of this part over here and leave out the part of the hole and again we're going at a 45 degree angle for our hatching and we're going to use an approximate seven more space because this is a very big surface we don't want to have to waste time hatching with lines that are too close together so we're going to use a nice big space 
between each of those hatching lines. Okay, there we go. We've got our sectional top view hatched. And then this piece over here, because our cutting plane went all the way to that corner there and cut there, and because this is a hole, that line 1-6 should no longer be there. Yeah, because if it cuts through there and that's a hole there, you're no longer going to see that line 1-6 at all. So we can remove it. And then just go and fix what we erased. So we can see that properly. Okay, so that's what our sectional top view is going to look like. The other thing, of course, it did say on the question that we must include all hidden detail. So we are going to have to go and put in the hidden detail for the leftover sides of the pyramid that were not cut away. So we're going to have to go and add in now the parts of that hidden detail that we would still be able to see. Okay, there'd be hidden detail lines there, and then from our apex through to four, there'd be a hidden detail line there. And then from our apex to three. Okay, there we go, that's our sectional top view. That's part one. Go to part two for the sectional left view.